I'm here because two years ago, I had a really bad fall off a horse and I had a burst fracture in L3 of my spine. It was so badly damaged that the only way they could repair it was to uh, fuse it. And they actually had to take out one of my ribs to put in my spine because the bone was so badly damaged. It was a really long recovery and I spent a lot of time in a wheelchair and you know, had to learn to walk again. <laughs> But yeah, I guess my first, my first question in hospital was when can I ride again? It took a full 12 months before I could ride again um, and it was the longest 12 months of my life. But I worked really hard all the way through my recovery and all my physio and everything just to get back on the horse. During my recovery, it's not just been the physical riding that uh, Equine Pathways has helped me through. It's mainly been the mental side of things, you know, having a really bad accident like breaking your back. It's, you know, overcoming the mental challenges of, um, you know, being scared and, you know, being able to get back on the horse. <laughs> I've always been really, really determined that I'm going to be successful in everything I do and I won't let my back stop me from being um, a good rider and a good worker. And yeah, I mean, having the support at Equine Pathways is just been incredible and I think I'd be really lost without them. Today was the first time I've ridden a horse other than my own horse since my accident, um, and that's Henry. Bit of a nerve-wracking experience, to be honest, having you know, a different horse underneath me, but I felt safe with uh, Julia in the arena with me. She was guiding me on what to do, and um, yeah, he looked after me really well. So the horse that I ride usually, I've owned his whole life. I've had him since he was 14 months old. Um, he's now 11, and yeah, I absolutely trust him with my life, so. Yeah, he is my life. <laughs> to be honest, I'd sort of had it in my mind that I'm only riding my horse and that's it. So <laughs> yeah, it's almost a challenge in itself, just riding, yeah, getting on another horse. So at the moment, I'm in the process of applying for the power equestrian. And obviously, um, as that goes forward, I would like to one day compete at the Paralympics. It's obviously a big goal and just taking it slow at the moment but um, yeah I just basically want to be the best rider I can possibly be and produce the best out of the horses I ride so um, whichever direction that takes whether it's Olympics or not I just want to yeah do my best.